Hello, I'm Dr. Kaylin McKinney, and today I want to talk to you just a little bit about self-talk and the subconscious mind. So, first of all, I guess the thing we want to ask first is what is self-talk? So, self-talk is that internal dialogue that we all have going on all of the time. Now, sometimes that internal talking is about other things or things we just need to do, but sometimes it's about us. And when it's about us, there is going to be a big difference between whether or not that self-talk is supportive and it's going to help you achieve your goals and feel better about yourself, or if that self-talk is actually pretty insulting and hold you back and keeps you actually from achieving what you want to achieve, even though consciously you might indeed want to feel better. It's sometimes kind of ironic what's going on in there. So let's, let's talk about that. First of all, real quickly, so your subconscious mind is not controlling everything, but it's controlling a lot. So it's um, an emotional side of our brain. It's controlling behaviors and perceptions and often beliefs and reactions and outcomes. Again, not all of it, but a big part of it. So because of that, we want to pay attention to like, what are the influencers of the subconscious mind? And one of those things is words, talking, whether it's other people talking to us or us talking to us. So with that in mind, we want to consider the fact that the subconscious mind does not hear words and language in the way that the conscious mind does. So what I mean by that is that the subconscious mind doesn't hear negative modifiers in language. So those words like no and not and don't, for examples. So when I say I'm not going to do something or don't do that, my subconscious mind actually focuses on that exact thing that I said don't do. So here's an example. Try this. So consciously, these are very easy instructions I'm about to give you, <laughs> okay? So see how it goes. All right, so I'm just gonna ask you to not think about something. Ready? Here we go. All right, don't think about what a stop sign looks like. Don't think about what color the stop sign looks like. Don't think about the shape. Don't think about any part of what a stop sign looks like. Mm, how'd it go? Uh, I'm guessing you had a big old red stop sign right in the front of your head, right? Um, I bet you thought about it. So even though consciously the instructions were like so specific, don't think about that, but your subconscious mind did it anyway because your subconscious is dominant. And again, your subconscious is ignoring the words like don't. Think about that. Whew. So this can be problematic because sometimes when we're trying to change a habit or change just how we think about something, in our own self-talk, we sometimes use those words, right? So if I'm telling myself, don't do that, don't eat that cookie, don't eat that cookie, don't eat that cookie. My subconscious mind is actually hearing, eat that cookie, eat that cookie. <laughs> right? So, wow, I just made it so much harder on myself to resist that cookie or whatever it is. It could be a cigarette, right? Like, don't smoke it. Don't smoke that cigarette today. I am not going to have that cigarette you're actually reinforcing the opposite. So instead of using those negative modifiers, like don't do this, don't think about that, 
don't spill that, don't. Stop using the words don't. Stop using the words no. Stop using the words not. You're focusing on what you don't want to do. Instead, focus on what you do want to do. Ta-da! Suddenly it becomes easier. So here's an example. Instead of, um, I don't know, don't smoke the cigarette today. Instead, I'm going to focus on what I do want. So instead, I'm going to say things like, I am a non-smoker today. Or, I am choosing to eat healthy today. Or, I am feeling more confident today. Today is going to be a good day. So you see the difference between focusing on what you want versus what you don't want. So instead of, don't, I'm not, don't feel stressed. Don't feel stressed. I'm not going to stress out about that. Instead, go the opposite way. Think, I'm choosing to feel calm. I'm going to feel calm. I'm going to feel balanced today. So there you go. Lesson number one in step talk is oh, maybe more than one little piece. One is that the subconscious mind and the conscious mind hear words differently. And for effective, uplifting self-talk, you want to start focusing on what you want and eliminating those words in your head or outside of your mouth that are focused on actually what you don't want. So there you go. Focus more on what you want. Say it out loud. Say it in your head. So your subconscious mind gets the message and starts helping you out, making things a little easier. All right, till next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.